Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jorge. How are you? Fine, fine. Everything Excellent. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I have a problem with the camera. I don't know why I cannot see myself. Se ve en blanco. En negro. No sé por qué. Si no, pondré la alternativa que tengo acá. No me gusta porque está en el pellito. <laughs> but I have, I have no choice. I have to use this camera right up there. <laughs> All right. Yes. I'm sorry. But I'm going to be using this camera. It looks weird. They are capital. All right. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the camera of the laptop is going to work later on. I hope so. I don't like this one. It looks very bad. Okay, but the point is to see me, to see, you know, my everything, you know. Good evening. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. You're eating. You're eating. You're Good evening. Good evening, Mayra. Oh, hi, everyone. What a beautiful day it is, huh? <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Thank you uh, so much for connecting, for joining today's session. Today is uh, our last session of the week. You know, uh, tomorrow we will not have our session because of the holiday, the national holiday that we're going to have due to the Caribbean games. We're not going to have tomorrow's session. Yes. But uh, just a quick reminder. I got a quick reminder here. Remember, uh, it's just a reminder, all right? Tomorrow, we will not have our session. No, I don't know. All right, here it is. Uh, this is the information that has been shared to everyone, you guys, administration, and everyone. Uh, there won't be Friday's session, so tomorrow we will not have our class. We will come back on Monday. All right. Yes. Yes, on Monday. And we will recover this class. We will recover this class. I'm not really sure when, but I think it is going to be a Monday. Every Monday, we're going to be covering Friday's class. Yes. There one, eight people. Okay, let's begin with our uh, review, the review that we always do in, in the, the beginning of the class about yesterday's topic. Okay, this week, this week is about modal verbs, modal verbs. We have studied or we have practiced with can, could, may, and might. Today, we're going to practice with one modal verb that is very interesting. And uh, it's not really complicated to understand. Yes, I will uh, show you how it is and how and or in which ways we use it. All right. Uh, this is day number nine or class number nine. Today is Thursday, July. And uh, well, people, it's time is flying really fast. Yes. Okay. Let's start or let's begin with this. Yesterday, we were talking about may and might. These two models that tend to be the same. They are the same when we're talking about possibilities and other things. Well, look, we use may or might to express, to express, to express present or future possibilities 
All right. May. May is very formal in all senses. In todos los sentidos, may is muy formal. Yes. For possibilities, for permission, for wishes, and for prohibition, in, or for all of them, for all of them, may is very formal. Okay, keep that in mind because this is really important information. So when we're talking about possibilities, uh, we can say or we can presume that the activity or the possibility for the activity to happen or to take place is the 70%. So it means that when, when I provide an example with May, the possibility that I am expressing uh, is, is uh, very high. I mean, it's really high, yes. For example, uh, let me give you one example of mine. I may, I may travel to Colombia. I may travel to Colombia. Yes. Okay. I have I have the money. It's an example. Okay. It's not true. <laughs> I have the money. So with the money, with the money, the possibility is higher. Okay. Or maybe with the ticket, the, the, the flight, the uh, tickets, the tickets. If I have the tickets or the flights, yes. Okay. The possibility is higher. Yes. Might, might, on the other hand, the possibility is less than may. Well, some books say, all right, the possibility is less. It can be even less, uh, up to 15% or 20%. Uh, yeah, okay, so it can be less. For permission, we got uh, may formal uh, wishes and prohibition. And uh, of course, I have some examples here. Uh, look at them. Possibility with May Sandra may go to the water to the water park on Sunday. I'm sorry, water but no lleva I don't know what. Okay, Sandra may go to the water park on Sunday. Okay. Puede que Sandra vaya a un parque acuático el domingo o al cuart al, al parque acuático. Mm, really, teacher? Yes. Ojalá que sí. I hope so. I hope so, Sandra. I hope. Teacher, one question. Why the word water um, have an accent in the letter A? Es lo que le acabo de decir, no escuchó, ¿verdad? I'm sorry por, por la tilde que tiene la, la the water, no lleva tilde. I'm sorry. Es, cuando estaba escribiendo, se, 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 se puso la tilde sola. No sé. Okay. Es, but I don't know why, because I have it in, in English, in, in English, el teclado en español. Okay, no, E and Nelson may check their inventory. Okay, pueda que Nelson y no E revisen el inventario. Yes, okay. The possibility here is very high. Okay, the possibility is very high when we're using may. All right. The possibility with might is less, okay? 40%, 30%, or 20%. Sandra might download threads today. <laughs> Have you seen this? This new new social media uh, threads? It's gone viral on, on, on social media. Luna, no viste mi cuaderno, hija. Mi cuaderno. She was looking for a notebook. Wow. <laughs> yes. Creo que no lo ha visto el cuaderno. <laughs> right, right. Exactly, you're right. Okay, people look. Uh, okay. Noé and Nelson might read the weekly reports. Okay. Es lo mismo en español. Pueda que, pueda que Sandro descargue threads hoy. O pueda que Nelson y Noé lean el reporte o los reportes semanales. Okay, let's go down to per the permission part with May. Permission, formal. Of course, it is formal. We can use can here. I told you yesterday that we can use can instead of May. Can I go to the restroom over there? Okay, the difference is that can is very regular or common or informal. And uh, May for permission is really, really formal, very polite. Yes. Okay, may I go to the restroom and may I share something? Okay, 
puedo ir al baño o puedo compartir algo. You're asking for permission in a very polite way. Wishes, wishes on deseos, okay? May we meet again. Frase muy, muy conocida, muy famosa. May we, may we meet again. Okay, ¿qué significa? Deseo que nos veamos una vez más, o que nos encontremos una vez más, like in the future. May Margarita and Delmi recover soon. Deseo que Margarita y Delmi se recuperen pronto. Prohibition for, uh, for prohibition we use may not. Okay, usamos el negativo, may not. Yes, this, this is, uh, uh, yeah, prohibition, bro. <laughs> yes, cell phones may not be used in banks. Okay. Los teléfonos no se pueden usar en los bancos. You may not smoke in class. Tú no puedes fumar en class. Of course, that's prohibited in many areas or in many places. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions about May and Mike? We're good? <laughs> We're good. Okay, very good, very good. It's good, Eric. Okay, very good. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to ask three or four people, just two or three people to give me one example, uh, and that's it. Okay, three or, or four people. Sentence or question, teacher? It doesn't matter, your decision. Okay. It's up to you, yes. Guys, I'm here. Today I look different. <laughs> The camera is on here. No? Ah, anybody? <laughs> tell me, tell me your future possibilities. I may I might get pregnant. Oh no, it doesn't know. People don't say that. Don't ever say that. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Uh, Good evening, for example, uh, I may go to cinema this Saturday. Excellent, excellent. Yes. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the movie Flash, go watch it. It's really good. Excellent. Let's continue, people. Another okay. example. Hello. Just give me the example, people. Okay, let me choose a person. Doesn't have a Vamos a ver. Let's see. Uh, let me try with you, Victoria. Anna is not there. Okay. Melanie? Yes. Present teacher. <laughs> can you give me can you give me an example using may or might? <clears throat> my. Okay, give me an example with might. Whatever you want to say. My. Negative or question. <clears throat> My yes. I my I go to learn my house. May I sorry, may I go to learn my house. What do you mean learn learn in my house? Learn my house. Learn aprender. Clean, perdón. Oh, okay, clean. Client. Can you repeat it? Client my house. In. Uh, okay. I will be will be. I may. Oh no, sorry, sorry. May I clean, right? May I clean? I clean. My my house. Yes. It it would be like this. May I clean my house? People, okay. ese, ese might no se usa mucho en preguntas. Es bastante escaso verle en preguntas el might. Mm -hmm. El may sí se ve en preguntas, pero might casi no. Okay. Se puede, sí, se puede ser might, might, might I go to the restroom. 
pero es que también tenemos problemas de eso. Casi no se aplica. Right? We barely, barely wow. use it. Well, I barely use it. Okay. Barely use it. Let me see. Sara, give me your example and we move on. Hello, I don't understand. I don't hear you. What example? What example? A example about the mice. May or mice? Okay, I might. I might uh, go to the pool. Go to the pool. The pool, the pool. Okay, <laughs> the pool. I, okay, I might go to the pool. Yes, yes. Okay, people, excellent. Thank you for your participation. And uh, well, I'm sure that you guys got it. Let me stop sharing because I need to take attendance now that most of you are here. Let me start. Uh, people, let me take attendance. Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Portillo. Portillo, Portillo. I'm here, teacher. Good Thank evening. you. Brian Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego Moje. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Osoriano. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara Rochelle Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Sara and Jancy San Jan Andrea Solorzano. Present teacher. Thank you, okay, people. Amazing, awesome. Thank you for for saying hi and present. Uh, let me see. Hold on, I didn't get the walker. Okay, we're gonna do some brainstorming right now. And uh, but we have to take a look at it. It's on page, go to page number 25. On page 25, you're gonna see you're gonna see this information. This information I'm sharing with you all. Okay, we continue, we continue to unit number two. It says online orders and refunds. Okay, today we're going to see something about refunds. Look, I will be able to request. I will be able to request and give refunds due to bad service. Oh, everyone, what is due to? Due to bad service. I don't know, teacher. You don't know? Okay. Do you know what because of is? I should have put in the chat. Because of, do to, es lo mismo. Debido a. All right? Yes. You can say I will be able to uh, request and give refunds because of bad service. Debido a, mal servicio. All right? That's what it is. Do to. Yes. All right. And uh, guys, if you take a look at number one or at part number one, you're going to see a question. The question says, 
what options would you give you, your customer if a product you offer is not on good conditions? We're going to discuss this question later on. Right now, we're going to do some brainstorming about refunds. Yes. All right. We're going to see how or why. Okay, we're going to do some brainstorming about this. How to get a refund? People, can you tell me or can you can you uh, brainstorm some ideas uh, about this? In which cases do we get refunds? Or when do we get refunds? When you don't get uh, to the product okay. received. Okay, when you don't get the product. At all, no. When you don't get the product at all. Yes. Okay, that would be one. Can you come up with more ideas, people? When the product is not what you order. Okay, when the product is not what you order. Okay, when the product is not what you order. All right, yes. That's another option. Or another when... Dígame, dígame. <laughs> when the product the product is about when the product está mal, no sé. Is in bad shape. Or it's damaged. Okay. When it is damaged. When the product is damaged. Okay. When the product is damaged. What else? When the product never, never be received. Oh, that would be the, this one. This one here. When you don't oh, yes. get the product at okay. all. Uh, yes. What else? Well, I don't is scratch. I think it's scratch. Scratched? So I guess scratched? Yes? No? Como arañado? Yes. Cracked. Cracked, broken, broken. Let me see what else. These are similar to this. Broken. Yeah, just like that. Or, or the, or part. This one was. Now one is infected. Defectuoso. All right. It is uh, when the product is scratched, cracked, broken, or defective. Scratched is como arruñado, arañado, raspado. Okay, cracked, cracked, más que todo en tablets, es, es como quebrado, roto. En teléfonos, okay, cracked. Broken, you know the same thing. Uh, but broken is general, okay? Cracked es, es la pantalla. And uh, broken is, puede ser todo, cualquier parte. And defective, the same, any part. When and the item is missing, maybe when uh, an item is missing, cuando falta algo, yes. We have one more arrow, people. Tenemos una, una flecha más. One more. <laughs> yes, tell me, one more. Yeah, possible when the product pro, uh, arrive late. 
is possible. Okay, well, uh, Prado. Right place. Okay, yeah, it works. It's okay. And we people, we have more ideas, okay? We have more ideas or we have more more situations in which we, we can uh, get a refund, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, people, can you give me, can you give me a synonym uh, for refund? A synonym for a refund? Get your return back. the money okay. or pack your money. I don't know. The money. Okay. Yes, get your money back. Uh get sorry, return the money. Okay, those those can be those can be synonyms for refound. All right, let's move on. Let's go back to the book. Okay, and in the book, uh, we have a question. The question is, what options would you give your customer if a product you offer is not on good conditions? Okay, people, let's answer this question. Let me ask directly, and the first person I'm going to ask is. Excuse me. The first, the first person I'm going to ask is Ismael. Ismael. Sorry, teacher, I can hear. What is the question? question? Do you see the question there in uh, in part number one? Uh, what would you give uh, your customer if a product you offer is not a good condition? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the I see the question. <clears throat> okay. Uh well, we're gonna answer the question. <laughs> okay. Um we can or we we could uh, change the product. Okay. We what what sorry, repeat. Um uh, for example if I am talking with the customer. I will say we could change the product. Okay, we could change the product. Yeah. All right. Thank you for for sharing your answer. Yes. Let me see another person. Uh, Diana Jamilet. What is your answer or your opinion to this question? Oh, okay. Um, uh, I think I need to. To make uh, the change. Change. You will change. Change. Okay. People, look at the question. Would. Okay. That's our, our topic of study today. Would. All right. Thank you. You would change the product, Diana. Excellent. Yes. That's another option. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer, the same question. What options would you give your customer if a product is if you offer? Is not in good condition. And I think that come back their money. Uh, I would return their money. Ah, return. Okay, teacher. Okay, you would you would give them a full refund. Okay, it's okay. Yes, even the refund is fine. Yes. Let me hear another person, Melanie. What about you, Melanie? What will you do in this situation? Okay, she's not there. Or is she there? Yes, teacher. Hi. Okay. Uh, the same question. What options would you give your customer if your product is bad? Offer another product. Okay, offer another product. Of, of uh, another brand and better price. Okay, of a better brand and a better price. Brand price. Okay, yeah. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good okay. one. All right, everyone, let's continue. We have a lot to do today. Yes. 
Okay, look. Part number two says, read the following refund form. Okay, what's a form, guys? What's a form? What is a form? Excuse me. Como un formulario? Yes, yes, thank you. Then it was a woman. Okay. All right, yes. Uh, form formulary, right? We got a refund. Very good. We're going to read this this uh, refund form. It says their sender's name and address. Read it to you guys. Waterlux, Inc. Travers, Inc. 23, Glenway, San Carlos, California, 050570. Waterlux, Inc. Note, please note, Waterlux customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. Number two, retain a copy of your records and close the original with uh, the merchandise. And number three, use the line per, sorry, use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All items return will require the original under number. Sorry. Uh, sorry. All items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Right. Then we got stock details and important. Stock detail reason code, and we got DP. I don't know what this is, what this stands for. Oh, uh, it is down here. Look. Right, uh, the satisfaction is B, and uh, the only product performance, maybe the product performance was bad. Yes. Item number, we got the item number down there, quantity six, date of purchase, we got the date, other number, and the relevant reason, missing parts. Okay, yes. Do you have a question or questions about this refund, this, this uh, refund form? What did I do? Sorry. Do you have any questions about this refund form, vocabulary, a sentence that you don't understand or something that you guys don't understand? Yes. What is it? No questions? Oh, okay. That's okay. I do have a couple of them. Let me ask you what, uh, what is, uh, what is, what is it? Teacher. Yes. I have a, a little question. Uh, ask me. What does it mean, uh, the word merch, uh, merchandise? Oh, merchandise. Exactly. Merchandise. Yes. Mercadería. Ah, okay. Mercancía, mercadería, es lo mismo, yes. Okay, thank you. It's merchant, merchandise. Don't get confused. A veces es K, es a cha, es, es, es a cha, es K. Uh, mechanic, por ejemplo. Ahí es me, ka, mechanic. Acá no es me, merchandise, mer, merchandise. It's not merchandise, it's merchandise. Así como mercader, mercadero, mer, merchant. It's not merchant. All right, so merchandise. Uh, what is a stock, everyone? Stock, it says stock detail. <clears throat> stock detail, what is it? Stock. Yeah, stock, okay, stock. A stock, it no is añadido o pegado si no me recuerdo not, o... in not in this context in, in, in here is inventario o existencias en inventario yeah. yes. ah cierto sí. es cierto el, el otro que estaba mencionando es stock S-T-U-C-K 
but that's the past form, es el pasado. Stick es el presente, con I. Ah, ok, exacto. Yes, como sticker. But it's the different context, right? Yes, exactly. exactly yeah. All right, people, I believe there are three questions or four questions or two questions about the survey or the form up there. It says there, check the reform form to answer the questions, compare answer. Number one, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Guys, what's, what are the reasons? What are the reasons? Um, the first reason um, by the form is the classification is D. And D is the dissatisfaction with the Dix product, right? The customer, exactly, Brian, yes, is dissatisfied. Okay, it's up there, look. Uh, there you go. There you go, dissatisfied. And uh, there was that rather performance. Okay, because it says there uh, P, P, right, right, next to D. So maybe there was a bad product performance. The second question says, would the customer get the refund? Why? Would the customer get the refund? Why? People, what do you think? What do you think, guys? Mayra, what do you think? The second question, Mayra, what do you think? Would the customer get the refund? Why? If you say yes, why? If you say no, why? Mayra is not there. Raquel, are you there? You sure? Yes. <laughs> yes, because the product is damaged. Okay, yes, because the product is damaged. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It doesn't mention that the product is damaged. It just mentions uh, a few things. It mentions two things, the code, the satisfaction and product performance, and uh, relevant mm -hmm. reason, missing parts. Okay. So what do you think, people? I think by my this opinion right now, um, I will use uh, what they say on TV commercials. If you don't like the product, we'll, we will refund your money, for example. Okay. So you say, you say yes, right? People, I think, I think yes. I think yes, because, you know, there are missing parts. There are missing parts, so of course the person has to get a refund. Uh, because he or she did not receive in the whole package. Okay, no recibo el paquete completo. He did not, he or she did not receive the whole package. Okay, yes. Very good. Let's move on, let's continue guys. And uh, yep, let's go to part number four. Let's begin with our part. All right, here. 
We're done with this part. We're going to continue with this part. How to use people. Look at that. How to use would and would like to. Would and would like to. To dos cosas diferentes. Manos más o menos. Okay. Yes. Would and would like to. The pronunciation is would. The L, the L in the middle right there is silent. You do not pronounce it. Okay. It's not would. It's just would. Would and would like to. All right. People, can you tell me what wood is in Spanish? What is wood in Spanish? Como desear, algo así. Okay, something like that, yes, something like that. All right. Desear. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me take Pero a verdad que es algo como en futuro. Uh -huh. Es algo que desea uno hacer en el futuro, algo así. Um, <laughs> una posibilidad ok a possibility maybe <laughs> ok we're going to we're going to learn how to use wood today wood es muy confuso es un un modal bastante bastante complejo porque se usa en diferentes áreas y hay unas que son muy complicadas sí ok but let's begin let's begin wood wood no tiene un significado estándar en español Okay, okay. Would is the past form of will. Okay, do you guys remember will? Sign called is will. Will, yes. Will is the future. Future. Okay. Uh, would is the past of the will. Así como could lo es de can, would is the will. Okay. Let's begin. Ah, I was telling you that would would doesn't have doesn't have a definition or a translation in Spanish. Would, uh, solo agrega el, 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 how can I tell you this? It uh, adds like an ending part of a, of a verb. Agrega un, un, uh, un, I forgot the word in English, man. Uh, ¿Cómo podría decir esto? Modifiquen el verbo, lo convierten en, en ia. Cualquier verbo se convierte en, en ia. Manejaría, conocería, comería, Gusta. debería. Me gustaría. Ajá. Oh, no, ese es would like to. Porque would es una cosa y would like to es otra cosa. Porque son diferentes, ¿ok? Yes. Yes. Es solo el, el would es que agrega ia a los verbos. ¿Ok? I would eat, comería. I would go, iría. I would dance, bailaría. I would check, revisaría, etc. All right. But let's begin. Let's begin. Would plus, plus base form. I go sleep. All day. Sorry? I go sleep all day. Exactly. Tomorrow. I would sleep all day. <laughs> Tomorrow, teacher. Okay, I would. Yes. No, people, I'm going to sleep tomorrow. All day. <laughs> I'm not going to work, people, yet. Será un viernes. Quizás mejor viernes del mes, del año, perdón. The best Friday of the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's begin. Look, to make a request. Recuerda que es una request? Do you remember what request is? Request. Yes, no. I know. Not a bit. Request. Yes, request. <laughs> Damn. Thank you, request. Request, recuerden, solicitud o solicitar. Es un, es un favor. It's a favor. This, this information right here, this information is, well, all of them. Before, before, before uh, we continue, all of this, all of this is very formal. Todo lo que está acá es muy formal, ¿ok? Ese will sí es formal. En, en casi todos los aspectos es formal. So, look, to make a request, para hacer una solicitud. Would you open the door, please? Abrirías. Would you open the door, please? Abrirías la puerta, por favor. Okay. And you can say yes or no. Would you help me finish the report? Me ayudarías a completar el reporte o terminar el reporte. Would you help me finish the report? 
tense. Okay? That is to make a request para preguntar o pedir un favor. Okay? Another example can be would you pick me up in five minutes? Look, another example. Would you pick me up in five minutes? ¿Me recogerías en cinco minutos? ¿O me dieras ride en cinco minutos? Okay, ¿Me recogerías? Excuse me, en cinco minutos? Yes, request. Another example, would you? Es lo mismo que can, like como puedes abrir la ventana o podrías abrir la ventana con el could. Es lo mismo acá, el request. Pero este would es bastante formal. Más que incluso más que would, que could, perdón. So, would you cook uh, me this fish? Okay, look. Would you cook me this fish? Me cocinarías este pescado? Okay, también es un favor. A request. Let's continue, let's continue to make, to ask for permission. To ask for permission. Observen acá, to ask for permission. Would I, would I be able to go home early? Aquí sí, dice, sería, sería capaz de ir a casa temprano? Okay, you're asking, you're asking for permission. Would I be able to be dismissed earlier today? Okay, acá dice, sería capaz de ser despachado más temprano este día? Okay. You're asking, you're asking for permission, okay, but in a very formal way. La estructura para permiso es la que está ahí. Would I be able to? Okay, sería capaz de. Yes. Would I be able to? Okay. To ask for preferences. To ask for preferences is is uh is something that we use a lot in restaurants. In food places or drinking places, we use this one a lot. For example, would you like, would you like tea or coffee? Le gustaría café, perdón, le gustaría té o café? Would you like tea or coffee? Would you like a salad or the main dish? Le gustaría una ensalada o el principal? Yes. To make arrangements, to make arrangements, ¿Qué es arrangements, people? ¿Qué es arrangements? Dice to make arrangements. Como hacer, como arreglos. O... Preparativos, planes, etc. Yes. Coordinar. Exactly, exactly, exactly yes. Ok. Look. Would Friday be okay for you? Would Friday be okay for you? Sería el viernes okay para ti? Algo así, algo así. O más bien, estaría, estaría el viernes bien para ti, okay para ti? Okay. okay. Would next month be okay for you? Estaría bien el siguiente mes? Okay. Yes, if you're making plans about going out uh, with your friends or with your family, you can suggest or make arrangements using wood. Okay. Ahora vemos el would like to. Este would like to se usa más que todo en restaurantes. Okay. To offer something politely. Okay. Ofrecer algo de una forma cortés. Would you like to drink water or juice? ¿Le gustaría tomar agua o beber agua o jugo? Would you like to see the menu again? ¿Le gustaría ver el menú otra vez? To extend an invitation. Okay. To extend an invitation. Would you like to come? Sí, de haber perdido la conexión. Sorry. Wi-Fi problems. Hi, teacher. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Teacher, lo habíamos perdido, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. Es que se fue la luz. Y si luz no me veo, es un negrito. All right. Let's continue, guys. We were here, right? On the to extend an invitation. Would you like to come to my house? Te gustaría venir 
a mi casa. Would you like to come in? Te gustaría entrar when you're uh, by the door or in front of the door? They ask you, hey, would you like to come in? Te gustaría entrar, okay? Uh, would you like to join us? Te gustaría unirte a nosotros. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, note, we use would with all subjects. Usamos would con todos los sujetos, con ella, él, eso, whatever, all of them. Okay, yes. So that's how we use, así como usamos would, tiene preguntas. Questions? It's clear for me. Okay. Not too sure. No, okay. I have I have more examples. I have more examples. Uh but before we continue, antes continuamos les diré, les mostraré un uso que no está acá. Es aparte del del que les estaba. Okay, here we go. Word for word. Observen esto. Wood for past habits. Wood for past habits. Ese es un uso aparte de que no, no. no. It's not in the book. El book, el libro solo es de preguntas de would like to que informales. But uh, we have another use of wood. We use wood or we can use wood in the past form to talk about past or uh, yeah, past activities, things that we did in the past, we use them, okay? For example, when I was, look at this, when I was uh, four years old, that was 19, 1996. <laughs> when I was four years old, I, I would, my dog is barking next to me again. I would eat lots of snacks, lots of candy. Would I would. Ok, hasta ahí dejémoslo. Veamos lo que dice acá. Aquí no tiene que ver con nada, con uh, comería, como está aquí, comería, uh, jugaría, y por último, dormiría, y levantaría. Right. Back up, uh, late teacher, please. <laughs> es el pasado, right. Look, dice acá, lo voy a leer en español. Cuando tenía, cuando tenía cuatro años, Comería, dice, comería. No. Usted puede decir, hay una palabra que se usa en inglés para decir solía. ¿Saben cuál es? Solía. ¿No? ¿No saben cuál es? La palabra es. Yes. Used. La puse en el chat. Used. All right. Ese used significa solía. Se usa para expresar cosas en el pasado que hacíamos que no hacemos ahora. Ok. Es casi lo mismo que está acá. Cuando tenía cuatro años, comía. Okay. Así podemos decirlo, comía. Comía mucho dulce y, go y golosinas. Jugaba, right? I would play. Ahí dice, jugaba con mis amigos. I would play with my friends. I would sleep early and wake, sorry, I would sleep early and wake up early. Me dormía temprano y levantaba temprano, right? This dog is crazy. Okay. So, ¿se puede usar el would para el pasado? Sí, se puede usar. En vez de usar el used to, que es solía, se puede usar el would eat, 
o would, cualquier, cualquier verbo, ¿ok? Para expresar algo en el pasado. Luego haremos una actividad similar a esta, usando el would para el pasado, ¿ok? People, do you understand these parts? Yes? Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Let's continue right uh, here. También se usa el would. Esa es la parte más, más, más compleja, diría yo. Would must. Ok. Se usa el would, would plus second conditional. Que es con una condición. Yo no puedo decirle así, hey, comería una pizza. Comería una pizza. Suena un poco al aire, ¿verdad? No, no, no está completa la oración. Comería una pizza, no está completo. I need, I need the condition. I would eat a pizza if I, excuse me, if I were hungry. Excuse me. Okay. I would eat a pizza if I were hungry. Comería una pizza si tuviera hambre o si estuviera hambriento. Yes. Okay. Usamos el would también para usar con, con condiciones. Esta que está acá es la condición. If I were hungry, it's a condition. Okay. Yes. Entonces, básicamente, si usamos esto, si yo digo I would eat a pizza, I would eat a pizza, no está muy completo que se diga, eh, eh, ese, ese, no tiene mucho sentido, comería una pizza, ok. It's like, uh, you need to know, you have to know, you have to know what you're talking about or, or what situation you are involved in. Yes, I would eat a pizza if I were hungry. En este caso ya estaría completo el, el ejemplo. Another one, uh, she would pass. She would get, she would get promoted if she put more effort. Dice ella, ella sería promovida si pusiera más esfuerzo. She will get promoted if she put more effort. Ok. O sea, aparte de lo que le explicaba de would, se usa para el pasado, como uh, visitaba, okay, iba, corría, jugaba, etc. ¿no? Y se usa también el would con condiciones. Ok. Es el famoso segundo condicional. Cosas que no, que son, que no, no pasan, pues. No están pasando. Ahora, vamos a revisar aquí. We're going to go back to the, to the presentation. And in the presentation, I have more examples. Tengo más ejemplos acá. Let me show them to you. Okay, look. How to use wouldn't, wouldn't, in the negative form, and wouldn't like to. Wouldn't and wouldn't like to. Yes. So, subject plus would not plus verb plus complement. For example, I wouldn't eat all food. No comería, no comería comida vieja. All right? I wouldn't eat all food. Okay? No comería comida vieja. Como les comentaba, esta oración no tiene un, un, uh, un, bueno, explicar, un significado completo. Okay? Yo, comerí, no comer, yo no comería uh, comida vieja, ¿ok? No puedo decirle así de la nada, qué más ropa decirles a ustedes, hey, yo no iría a la cárcel. Uh, ¿Por qué dices eso? Why are you saying that? We're not talking about that, right? It's something different. So, uh, you wouldn't drive without a license. No conducirías sin una licencia. She would not dance... Uh, That ugly music. Ella no bailaría esa música horrible. He would not or he wouldn't go to the beach alone. Él no iría a la playa él solo. The situation wouldn't change at all. La situación no cambiaría en lo absoluto. We wouldn't be part of this bad action. No seríamos uh, parte de esta mala acción. They wouldn't work overtime without extra payment. 
no trabajarían uh, tiempo extra sin una paga extra. Subject plus would like to plus verb plus complement. Acá es no me gustaría en todas. I wouldn't like to go to a restaurant alone. No me gustaría ir a un restaurante solo. I wouldn't like to go to a restaurant alone. You would not like to run at night. Okay. No te gustaría correr en la noche. Like. Okay. No es like. 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 Uh, she would not like to see her ex. No le gustaría ver a su ex. Delmi and Jose wouldn't like to eat rat. What? Okay. That's not good. All right. Wouldn't is used when you want to imply that something is not advisable, advisable nor optional. El wouldn't se usa, es usado cuando queremos, dice, insinuar que algo no es aconsejable ni opcional. All right? That's how we use it. Okay, very good. Let's continue. I got more examples. We would and would you and would like to. Questions. Would you help your sister with her homework? ¿Ayudarías a tu hermana con su tarea? Request. Would Elmer go to the store right now? Okay, request. Would she go out with me? This one is not request. Okay, ¿saldría ella conmigo? Okay, ¿iría Elmer a la tienda en este momento? Y la última o la primera dice, ¿ayudarías a tu hermana con su tarea? Yes. Would like to, would plus subject plus like to plus verb plus complement. Would you like to order? Would you like to eat? Oh, I told you, right? Would like to, ese would like to se usa más que todo en restaurante, right? Would you like to order? Would you like to eat? Would you like to have? Would you like to buy? And would you like to try? Uh, over here. Would like to is commonly used in restaurants, hotels, and stores, etc. Okay, yes. That's how it goes. All right. People, do you have any questions about wood? No. No questions? Thank you, sir. Hi. Yes, tell me. No, no, no. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a comparar los tres, los tres, uh, las tres formas. We have compare, make a comparison of the three forms. First off, let's begin with wood plus verbs. Wood plus verbs, let me show you how this would go. <laughs> how this would go. Okay, uh, let me see. E... Patient. Okay, look, he would fix his PlayStation. Affirmative. Negative would be he would not. Okay, he would not fix his PlayStation. And the question would he fix his? Would he fix his PlayStation? All right. This is would. This is would solo con los verbos. Sin el like to. Would like to es otra cosa. Acá dice, uh, él arreglaría su PlayStation. Él no arreglaría su PlayStation. Y la pregunta es, ¿arreglaría él su PlayStation? Ahora, uh, también esto que está acá, las primeras dos pueden ser en pasado. Ok. Puede ser en pasado. Puede ser con un condicional, con una condición, ok, él arreglaría su PlayStation si tuviera dinero. Ok, if he had money. 
o el pasado, él arreglaba su PlayStation. ¿okay? Dependiendo del contexto, ¿ok? Tiene que ver qué contexto es para poder uh, diferenciar. One more example. You would come late to class. Okay. You would come late to class. Vendrías tarde a clases. Okay. You, excuse me, you would not or wouldn't come late to class. You wouldn't uh, come late to class. And the question would be, would you come late to class? All right, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Es más simple entender la pregunta que el negativo y afirmativo. Ya que si usamos el would como un verbo, tenemos dos opciones. Me refiero a que hay dos, dos uh, campos en el cual se usa la misma estructura. Okay. Como les dije, acá dice, vendrías tarde a clases. Vendrías. Vendrías tarde a clases. Si sí, es con una condición. Okay. O puede ser el pasado. Venías. O solías venir tarde a clases. Ok. Yes. Very good. Let me change. Ok. Ahora vamos a comparar would like to. Uh, would like to. Oh, would like to plus base form, of course. Base form. That hurts. Let's go. I would like to drink I would like to drink lemonade me gustaría beber limonada esa que está acá si sí se puede entender fácilmente sin ningún problema porque ya está el verbo like to y está drink uh, I would not like to drink lemonade And the question would be like this. Would you like to drink lemonade? Okay, there you go. Esas serían las preguntas. Negativo y afirmativo con would like to. Me gustaría beber uh, limonada. No me gustaría beber limonada. Y me gustaría beber limonada. Una pregunta. Okay. Yes. Let's go back. Ahora, veamos acá. Dice, I'm going to read, people, help me, please. I need your help with this. Okay, I'm going to read, you give me the answer, okay? I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. The second one, uh, space, you are break. Yes, we. What would be the question there? It's a question. The second one. Space, you, space, a break. Yes, we. Hi. Would you take a break? Yes. Okay. Say that this word. Oops, it's not with the thing. Oh, no, still small. Let me fall in. Okay. Would just tell you I would you would you take a break? Would you like a break? Yes, it was idea, right? Or it was idea on the council. Would you take a break? Yes, we would. Yes, we would. All right. Yes, we would. The second one, I don't understand this. I some help with my homework. I would. Mm -hmm. Would like. Yes, I would like. I would like some help. Oh, you can also make a contraction, people, with all subjects. I see. Yes, and the pronunciation is "eyes." Eyes. On a day. I'd. Jude. She'd. Eid. All right. Yes. I would like to, I, I would like some help with my homework. Okay. Me gustaría algo de ayuda con mi tarea. 
Patrick's space, go to the supermarket. He needs milk. What would be your answer or uh, the answer here, number four? Uh, Patrick. Maybe Patrick go to the supermarket. Iría, o tendría que ser good life. Si yo digo Patrick would go to the supermarket, quiero decir Patrick iría, o oh, sí, sí, Patrick iría al supermercado. El supermercado. Mm, no, I don't, he would be would like to go. Yes. So Patrick would like. Yes, would like. Le gustaría ir, would like to go. Would like to go. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Number five, Tom, come with us. Yes, he. Tell me. Anybody? Hi. Sería good de primero porque pregunto. Exactly, yes. Good. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes. Would uh you're making an invitation? Would Tom like to come? Like to okay, sorry. I just wrote like. Would like to come with us? Yes, he he, he would. would. He would. Yes, he would. Let's continue. Can I help you? Yes, I. I would like. I the like. Contractado. I would like. I like a ticket to Melbourne. Number seven. My friends. Space. Come to the party next week. Mm -hmm. My friend. Yes, tell me. My friends would come to the party ne next week. Yeah, you can use a word and would like. He ambas ambas would like. Yeah, we're both correct. My friends would come to the party next week. And my friends would like to come to the party next week. Yes, thank you. Number eight is a question. Space, you, space again, work on Saturday. No, I, oh, no, people. This question is for you. <laughs> would you like for on Saturday? Exactly. Would you like to? Don't, don't, don't forget about, don't forget the two. Would you like to? Would you like to work on Sunday? Excuse me, Saturday? No, I would wouldn't. or wouldn't. Como dijo Denise. Yes. I would not or wouldn't. Yes. Number nine, it's also a question. Space, you, chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Tell me, people. Is the same would you like to would you with a question? Would would you like? Acá no usamos el tú porque no sigue un verbo después del like. El es chocolate no es un verbo, así que no usamos el tú. Okay. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Right. Number 10 is another question. Uh, space, you, space, see a movie. No, I. Would you like to? Uh -huh, exactly. So, yeah, would. Would you like to? Would, uh, would you like. 
Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Go, go no. them or go. I wouldn't. Okay. Number uh, 11, what space you space do tomorrow? What would you like to do tomorrow? Exactly. What would you like to do tomorrow? Sleep the whole day, bro. <laughs> yes, of course. Sleep and eat. That's it. Uh, like to. What would you like to do tomorrow? And the last one, who? Who would like some candy? Yes. Who would like? Um, yes, I can that. Who would like some candy? A quien le gustaría algo de dulce? A nosotros. I don't like. No, we would. All right. Yes. Now, the next activity that we're going to... Thank you, people, for your participation. The next activity that we're going to do is... Not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. And it's going to be this one. What happened? Okay, I didn't. Okay, we're going to go back here. And, oh, no, 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 it's acá. My bad, my bad, my bad. Estamos acá, creo que la borré la página. Sí, se borró. Okay, vamos, we're going to write, we're going to write, uh, something about the past using wood, okay? I told you that wood puede ser solía, okay? Como used to, right? I would go, iba, I would go to the beach with my family. Iba a la playa con mi familia, okay? You can talk about whatever, whatever past event you want. You can talk about your childhood, your uh, school days, your high school days, okay? Vamos a iniciar. Corto, cinco líneas, okay? Five lines is fine. Five lines is fine. Let's talk about a past, a past, uh, uh, how can I tell you? Past habits, okay? Let's go. Iniciemos. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes to do this. Five lines, people, using wood. I'm going to be helping you or giving you an example. I, I'm going to do mine. I don't know. My college, my high school days.
Okay, that's my my participation people. You can see it. Are you guys ready? Let me know. Guys, are you ready? Almost.
Guys, are you ready? In sharing. Finish teacher. Thank you, Ismael. Sure. Let me let me read mine. Let me read mine my mine over here. My half my high school days. It was from uh, 2007 to 2009. I would go from Monday Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 5:45 p.m. I would get tired because the teacher would assign a lot of homework. My classmates would play soccer all the time. I would not talk to many people only uh, acquaintances i would breakfast and lunch the same way uh, the same every day pupusas i miss my high school days okay yes acá sería uh, no sería como iría okay sino que iba iba o solía ir iba o solía ir yes okay don't get confused with the past form si decimos si decimos i went I guess went, ¿verdad? I went, sí. The no. past. Okay. Pero ese, ese, es, ese es pasado, pasado. Yo fui. Ok, fui. Right. Yo iba, yo iba, sería I would go. Ok, I would go, yo iba. Like, I would get tired, me cansaba, me cansaba. Me cansaba, yes. Uh, the teacher would assign, el maestro asignaba, asignaba. Uh, my classmates, my classmates would play. Ellos jugaban. Uh, I would not talk to many people. No hablaba con mucha gente. Solo conocidos. Okay. Yes. Uh, I would uh, breakfast and lunch the same. Uh, comía lo mismo en el desayuno y el almuerzo. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. Let's begin sharing. Let me see. Uh, volunteer people. A volunteer. Me. Okay, Denise, thank you. Um, when I was a little kid, I would like to do ballet. I would go to the theater and do plays for Christmas season. I would like to wear costumes and dance in front of people. And I would love to meet a lot of people. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, thank you, Denise, for sharing. Oh, Denise, I'm going to give you some power. Choose the next one. Oh, eh, estoy Marín de dos con nueve coronas de cartón, pero fue yo no fui para tu tema, fue en la que ella, Jancy y Andrea. Okay, let's see, let's see, Jancy. You are the chosen one. Uh, I think Jancy is not available today. I think she's sick. Yes. Another person. She's another? Yes. Me George. <laughs> okay. What do you say? I'm sorry. Me teacher. Okay. Melanie. Thank you. In my years of study, I really like to play various games at races. I will learn mathematics and I will teach my classmates because I really like it. mathematics, algebra, could do a lot. And my 
teacher congratulate me. My teacher would. My teacher would congratulate me. Okay. I was a very good student. Very beautiful time that I would like to live again. Okay. But you cannot live again. Oh, yes. It is sad. <laughs> it is sad. Yes. Oh, I don't miss my high school days. I miss, I miss my, my college uh, days, my university days. Yeah. That's what I miss the most. Yes. Me too. Melanie, who is next? Quien sigue, Melanie? Oh, difficult to share. Um, George. Okay, George. All right. Jorge? Jorge is frozen. I don't know. He's not frozen. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, I, I, I write about high school days too. Okay, yeah. When I studied on high school, I would go working from my house. I would eat soap every day, and some days I would have class at the evening. At the evening? Um, in, in the evening. Okay. Uh, with my friends, we would play fo football, and sometimes we would eat pizza. I would take my uniform every day, and washing it after classes. Wow. Good <laughs> student, people. Yeah. Good student. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. It's not like today. Today is difficult to, to see people, uh, to see students with the, wearing uniforms. Uh, you have no idea how difficult that is. Yes. All right. Jorge, you have the power in your, power in your hands. Who is next? Choose whoever you want. Um... Sara. Okay, Sara. You heard Jorge. Why? Teacher, no lo he hecho porque me duele la cabeza. Duele lo mismo que usted. Really? Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. If you are, if you feel bad, it's okay. Yes. I was, feeling, I was feeling bad earlier, people. I was sleeping. I uh oh my god! I went to to my to sleep like around three p.m. and I woke up at seven thirty p.m. Seven thirty people, seven thirty. Yes, I slept a lot, which is good. Yes. So, uh, let me see another person. Brian, are you ready? No, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, uh I'm working right now. Oh, you're working. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know. Okay, Mister Mister Dimas Soriano. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hi. Um, when I'm more younger, I would was happier with my family, my friends, my neighborhood, and I would go out in the night with my brother. Um. We come back home after the 12 we of would, the mural. We would come back. Uh, we would come back mm -hmm. and come back home after the 12 of the mural night. And my mom get angry. Very. Would, my mom would get angry. Uh, would angry teacher. Very, very angry. And I don't know, teacher, I miss these years go. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm sorry, Carlos. You, you cannot go out anymore. <laughs> Adult life is difficult, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Diana, are you ready? If you are, please share. Hi, Ducho. Hi. Okay. Uh, I remember when... I was younger that to go on excursion excursion. I go I go a meeting to go I go blind the times to return where you go do a meeting to go for 
our world. It was really, really hard to understand, Diana. No sé qué, qué, por qué se, se le cuesta entender. Creo que por el micrófono. I don't know. But it was hard to, to hear you. Uh, Diana, if you if it is possible uh, for you, can you send that information through through this chat or WhatsApp chat? In that way, we can see it. All right. Okay, yeah. teacher. But thank you for sharing, Diana. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue with uh, Ismael. <clears throat> Okay. I would practice taekwondo, taekwondo in my high school first year. I will attend to competitions with other classmates. We will win some some of those competitions against other high schools and we will get many medals of the team for the team. Coach will congrats us many times. Excellent, man. You are a good. You are a good man, Ismael. Don't hurt me. <laughs> you know how to fight. Don't hurt me, okay? Uh, no, teacher. You don't know how to fight. You know how to fight. <laughs> no, I, I, I won't hurt you. <laughs> okay, don't do it, please. Okay, thank you, Ismael, for sharing. Yes. People, high school days were amazing, huh? <laughs> yes. Let's continue, Mayra. Are you ready? Okay, let's see. Uh, Sandra? Okay. When I was studying the college, I go study in study in Cincinnati. I couldn't go the Thursday. Um I would go to the beach every Tuesday. And I would go all the class always and I will wake up <laughs> I will wake up at five o'clock. And I go right to uh seven seven o'clock p.m. Did you say that you would you would go to the beach every every uh Thursday? Yes. Every Thursday. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't even it's go for a year. The beach, the beach is near in the department of Cincinnati. So okay, they, nice. they are half a half a club. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. That's that's a nice one. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Sandra. Uh, let me see. Raquel, Elizabeth. Yeah. When I study at the university. Used to write to share with my friends. I would hit pupusas every day. I would like study a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. But we we would like to have a good time. Okay. All right. All right. We would like to have a a, a good time. Yes. Okay, thank you for sharing. Uh, Edith, are you ready? What about Anna? No, they are not there. All right. Uh, let me see who is missing. Jansi is not available. Uh, Diana has just shared her information here. Let me see. Let me know what I'm Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Like spelling mistake there, but it's okay. Yes. All right, people. Thank you for your amazing uh, participation. We're going to continue what we have. What we have on the book. 
we have more examples with would and more examples with would like. Let's see. I would change this product. He would buy there again. We wouldn't stay in this place. And would you give me your information? I would change this product. Cambiaría este producto. Recordemos que tiene que haber uh, una referencia de que estamos hablando para poder decir este ejemplo. Si no, tendría que ser con una condición. Okay. Yes. Uh, he would, okay. would like to, would like to, yes, me gustaría, uh, I would like to, bueno, gustaría, sería, I would like to change this product, me gustaría cambiar el producto, he would like to buy there again, they wouldn't like to come back here, and would you like to get a refund? After, after part number four, we have part number five, it says, Complete the following statements or questions. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six, people. Let's go. Let's do this activity. Part number five. Let's uh, finish it. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Let's go. Guys, are you ready?
I finished, teacher. Thank you, Denise, for letting me know. Okay, I think it's time to start uh, solving this part. Number one, alguien que la pueda leer? Bueno, puede variar. Yeah, me. Right. Yes, Brian, go ahead. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have the the first sentence. For example, it's uh, I would like to fly a jet or to fly a airplane. Okay, amazing. Yes. Okay, I would like to fly an airplane. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, can anybody share the same example, the same one, number one? I would like to avoid the supermarket. I would like? Bo bo como comprar. Oh, to buy. To uh, buy the supermarket. To buy in the supermarket or to buy the supermarket? The or... In, sería. No, I don't know. <laughs> that, that supermarket. Ah, correcta. Si, si usted dice buy in, es comprar en. Si dice buy the supermarket, es comprar el super, todo el super. Entonces, ¿voy a andar en todo el super? No. <laughs> you're going to buy the supermarket. Uh, entonces, es in. <laughs> in the supermarket. Yes. yes. No, but it is possible if you have money, it is possible. If you have millions of dollars, no problem. <laughs> All right, let's continue. The second one says, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Okay, can anybody read this one? The second one, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't drive in a car. Wouldn't? Or drive. Wouldn't to drive a car. Wouldn't drive. Yes, good and okay. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Anybody else with the same example? Mr. Trujillo Guren goes good travel early. Wouldn't? Guren, good travel early. Como que si no viajara temprano, algo así. Wouldn't travel. Wouldn't travel, Wouldn't early. travel early. Early. Yes. Okay, thank you for sharing, Sara and Sandra. The third one says, would she? Can anybody complete it? Would she? Guys, would she? Yes. Would, would she eat pupusas? Okay, would she eat pupusas? All right. Alguien más? Anybody else? Would she like to cook with me? To what, sorry? Uh, would she like to cook with me? Cook? Lo último que dijo? Uh, with me. Ah, with me. Okay. Would she like to cook with me? Yes. Are you a good chef or a good cook? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but do you know how to cook? I think you do. I bet you do. Mostly women know how to cook. Number four. What did I do? All right. Number four says, we'd like to. We'd like to. Hay que la pueda leer. We'd like to. We'd like to come back here. Okay. We would like to come back here. All right. No gustaría regresar acá. Uh, Alguien más, the same example. 
We'd like to visit you. Sorry? We'd like to visit you. Okay, we'd like to visit you. All right. Number five says she... What? Okay, I, it wouldn't. Okay. It's not what? Mundo? Ella no, 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 ella no mundiando. No mundea, something like that. I don't know. She wouldn't, wouldn't. Okay, it's not, no es Warren. Es, es un error de, 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 de la compu. The word. Suele pasar. Okay, there you go. So she wouldn't, people, number five. She wouldn't. She wouldn't wear that dress. Okay, she wouldn't wear that dress. Ugly dress. <laughs> okay, no. People, another one, the same example, another person. She wouldn't go out tomorrow. She wouldn't what? Go out tomorrow. Okay, she wouldn't work tomorrow. We have number six, would, okay, not world. Would you like to, people, would you like to? Anybody, would you like to? Would you like to go to the beach tomorrow? Okay, would you like to go to the beach tomorrow? Yes, all right, another one. No, okay, it's okay, people don't worry. Now we're going to continue. Oh, sorry, we didn't we, we don't have more time. There is a, a another activity, but we don't have enough time to do it. Why isn't it good? It's working. <laughs> The part number six is about writing a paragraph, but we do not have time for this, so we're not gonna do it. We might do it on Monday or, or that week. Okay, Monday or Tuesday, yes. Okay. Well, it's uh, almost time, people. Uh, do you have any last questions? About wood? No, we're good. Todo bien. No teacher. Ismael, hi. No teacher. Ha have you stayed? Have you stayed, Ismael? Se ha quedado, la persona que no se ha quedado todavía. Okay. No. <laughs> it is your turn today. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes. Okay, people, I am really hungry. I would like to eat some tacos. Yes, delicious. Some tacos with some some uh, juice. Not soda, okay? I don't like uh, soda is bad. Okay, uh, people, we have finished. To, remember, tomorrow we will not have our session. We, we, we will have that session on Monday, okay? On Monday. So this means, this means that... Uh, you have to do the midterm exam on Monday. I guess that the uh, midterm exam, remember? We have the section number two on the platform, the section number two. And besides section number two, we have the midterm exam that we also need to do. Uh, let me show you real quick. It's number one. Let me show this to you here. Okay, uh, so we have to work on the platform. We have to work on unit number two or section number two. As you, as you see over here, online orders and refunds, that's unit number two. And, but also besides unit number two, we have to do the, the, the middle uh, exam or the midterm exam. Okay, next one. You have to do it. Yes. All right. Yes, people. And, uh, yes, tell me. In the middle, in the midterm, uh, 
in the park um we we have a problem which part in the mid term in the midterm exam you have a uh, a problem okay let's see which problem okay. which problem that is let me see let me bring it back okay. Which part though? ¿Qué parte? Me imagino que tiene. ¿Cuál pregunta? La primera, segunda, tercera, cuarta. In the last part. In last the... part. No, let me see. Oh, but that one is with wood, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, in the number one, in the number two, when I try to write. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if it's yeah. a... What happened? Okay, vamos a ver. Puede que eso sea, sea un... No se puede enviar. Solo todo. No. Don't do this to me. Okay, look. Al parecer, este, este, este problema ya se ha dado anteriormente. Si ustedes ven acá el récord que tengo acá, me parece que, que ya lo he registrado. Y lo he colocado de varias formas. Vamos a ver aquí. Lo coloqué de esta manera. Y aquí 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 lo coloqué de esta manera. Y Puede que sea el apóstrofo que está malo, porque observen, acá hay dos, dos, dos diferentes apóstrofos. Ok, yes. ese es el verdadero. Puede que no funcione, vamos a ver, I don't like, ah, vamos a ver cualquier cosa aquí, elegí cualquiera. Solo para, para las primeras dos. Ok. Yeah. Ok, the first one is fine. La segunda no sé por qué. Ok. Sí. No olviden los puntos. Puede que sea el punto, la mayúscula al principio, algún espacio extra. Ok. Yes. Vamos a ver, intentar con esto de abajo. We would not like to stay in this place. Intentemos con esto. Vamos a ver. No, it is not correct. Let me try with the other one. La tercera, la vencida. That was uh, this one. Ok, then uh, es un problema de la plataforma. Déjeme que vea acá cómo lo puedo arreglar. Vamos a ver. Creo que es, es uno de los mismos problemas que le presentaba también ayer, Tiche, con, con la otra parte de esa evaluación. I think it's the platform. No es, no es, no es ustedes, es la plataforma. <ríe> sí. Sí, es la plataforma. La que no funciona. No sé por qué. Pero debería funcionar. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Yes. No sé qué será el problema. Okay. Lo voy a reportar, ok. I'm going to report it. Lo reportaré porque ese es el reportar. No es el problema. Yes. Ok. People, let me take attendance real quick. Eh, y nos largamos a dormir. <ríe> All right. Let me update it. Ana Víctor de Galán. Uh, Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Yes. My... Brian David Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Yes, Carlos Alberto was not here today. Uh, he had an emergency. Carlos Elias Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Yes, thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edith Adilia. Hernández. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Ivette Mendoza. Present, teacher. Sara Rachel. And Sandra, perdón, uh, Yancy, Andrea, Solorzano. Okay, people, we have finished. Thank you very much. Que descansen, pásenla bien. Son tres días de descanso, okay? Tres días, pásenla bien, descansen mucho. Y nos vemos el día lunes, okay? Cuídense mucho. Thank you. Thank you. See you the next week. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Bye-bye. See you.
Hi, Ismail. Hey, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. I think that Jancy is not is not available right now. He's just there. All right, uh, Ismail. We have a couple of minutes to discuss any uh, questions, confusion, complication that you might have about the topics or uh, English in general. So tell me, do you have any um, problems? I don't have a. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I don't have problems uh, with the class or the topics. Uh, mm -hmm. Not really, not I, I, I not, I don't have a uh, problems or mm -hmm. doubts, doubts, no sé cómo se dice. Doubts, doubts, yeah. Doubts. Okay. Uh, all okay. the all the topics I understand, understood. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, would would you like to recommend something to improve to improve the sessions? You know, I mean. Uh, do you want me to include new activities or activities that you like or something that you would like me to include in the sessions? Um, maybe um, use some platforms with make exercise like plays, uh, okay. for example, interactive uh, games in, in some platforms. I remember that the last model, uh, they have uh, the teachers have uh, some platforms where when we can play like uh, uh, trivias. No sé cómo se dice. Yes, trivias, trivias. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The problem is that I cannot I cannot use other websites. Oh, oh, because, I see. Because the thing is that I can I can use I can use other websites. The problem is that YouTube might you know uh, remove my video. Yeah, that's a problem. Borra el video YouTube por por copyright, you know. Yes. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Other yeah, but, other way. But, but we we can play games. I can I can download presentations that have games. You know, trivia games. You I can do that. No problem. Yes. Maybe not on website. Um, in the in the uh, in the presentations with PowerPoint. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. there are there are many games. There are many games in a in a in PowerPoint presentation. So I can I can download a game. Yes, I can do that. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's I I think um I think the the class is very well. Okay. I don't get bored. Bored. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't included any uh, reading uh, activities, reading or listening activities, but I am planning to bring a listening activity on Monday. Uh. So. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We don't. Yeah, reading. We don't, we don't do much listening. We don't do much listening. So I would like to to at least bring one or two activities that include listening. You know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, listening and, and right exercise. Yes, are, are good. We have, we have done speaking, we have done the speaking, we have done the escritura, we have escrito algo, y hemos este hablado bastante. Speaking, uh, writing. Solo que no hemos hecho mucha lectura y no hemos hecho mucho mucho listening. So we have to uh, work on those areas too. Okay. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, if I do you have more recommendations? Mm, no, no. The class is very well, I guess. Okay. okay well, well. Uh, thank you, Ismael, for staying. That's it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Yes. See you Monday. Have it. Have it's very a funny your class. I'm sorry. It's very funny your class. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, seguiré la mejora. <laughs> All right. Okay, see you on Monday. I'll see you Monday. Take care. Okay, cuídense mucho. Que descanse y pásenla bien este fin de semana. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.